Zer is over here by the door. I don't know if you guys caught the, uh, the, the reveal stream for Destiny 2, but we find out what's behind this door over here. I'm not going to spoil it for you because some of you guys are trying to go spoiler free. The only thing I'm spoiling <laughs> are Zer's loot and uh, a big spoiler alert there. Not bad, not bad this week. We have a legacy heavy weapon engram that you can pick up. It's a legacy heavy weapon engram. Helm of Saint 14, intellect and strength, not that bad. I, I, I like that. Stat roll could be a little bit higher. It isn't, it isn't terribly low, but it, it could definitely be higher. So the thing with Helm of Saint 14 is your Ward of Dawn blinds enemies who enter it. Uh, doesn't really get used much in PvP anymore, I don't think. I don't know, uh, because I don't really see Defender Titan bubble get used, and whenever I do, I know, don't go into the bubble, because that is that is the realm of the Defender Titan. You respect it. Don't go in it. So maybe it's better in, like, lower, like, kind of the lower skill brackets. In PvE, though, this is still one of the absolute top-tier helms that you can use in Crota's End when you need to blind stuff. Um, and it's fantastic. Basically, any raid where you need to use this, put this over a choke point where there's going to be tons of enemies, and they're all going to be blind. They just wander around in there, and you can just punch them to death if that's what you want to do, or you can use a sword, or if a warlock come, come in there and toss some cheese ball grenades in. It's great. It's great. Uh, big fan of this helm. It's all—it's always just been consistently good in some in some circumstances. The ATS-8 Arachnid, however, it's an okay roll yet again. It's bad. This thing's just bad, absolutely bad. Uh, your golden gun zooms in for accuracy when aimed and can be kept ready for longer. The kept ready for longer thing—I don't really know why you need to have your golden gun last longer. It already lasts like ten seconds. I don't, I don't even know how long it lasts. It's it's a long it's long enough time that it's. It's a very generous roaming super, considering you get to, you know, one-shot anyone with it in PvP. And in PvE, if you're holding your super for that long, I don't know why you're holding it for that long. Uh, and the zoom in, yes, that does technically increase damage because zoom causes you know, a bunch of range calculations to happen. You can hiss up farther away, but, you know... That's that's a really niche scenario. Normally, you're using Golden Gun like mid range or slightly slightly farther, and you're not hitting that fall off damage associated with it. So, even though ATS Eight Arachnid looks really cool, like, seriously, that thing's awesome. Uh, pass, just big old pass. However, the Ram, that's not something you should pass on, especially with a Discipline and Strength roll. It's actually it's it's high too, 62, 63. Um, yeah, not, not that bad. So the ramps thing is it increases armor. No matter the subclass that's wearing it, it will increase your armor. So you, this is capable of getting some of the max rolls for warlocks. And then all Voidwalker melees trigger lifesteal on hit. It has like an internal three second cooldown, but every time you melee someone, or every, for three, it's like a three second cooldown. Melee someone, wait three seconds, melee them again, you'll be able to gain, uh, health back for each hit. You will not be able to gain it for any melees in between that three seconds, which, you know, basically, you wear this helm, you're going to win basically every melee fight, and that extra that extra health is pretty crucial now, especially since you can survive a three-tap by using that. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if that's a Titan-only thing. But uh, max, math, max Health Ram Warlocks, very good for PvP. I wouldn't really use this for PvE at all, because, I don't know, just... There's so much better stuff that you can use that you don't need that extra health in PvE. Hereafter, Sniper Rifle. This is quite possibly one of my favorite weapons in the game, just because it has a square scope on it. It looks pretty cool. Great sound when you fire it. It also has one of the coolest flavor texts. Uh, Hold at the base of the mountains. Hold at the mountain's base. We had no choice but to beat our plowshares into swords once more. A plowshare is like a, a rake or a, you know some of the farming implement. So the farmers had to once again become warriors after they had been warriors and turned into farmers. It's a complicated process. Anyway, I like the vi I like the visuals that it puts into your head. The hereafter crouching increases scope zoom and makes it easier to aim under fire. Actually, very useful in both PVE and PVP. Now that the scope flinch has been increased, so you can crouch and. You're not going to flinch quite as much. Got some good barrel mods here. I think I end up using Linear Compensator most of the time now, uh, since that does give me mostly vertical recoil for the most part and doesn't hurt eh, aim assist too much. As Perfectionist, which doesn't really get used a hell of a lot, I think I end up using Injection Mold just to make it handle a little bit quicker, but Snapshot works as well. 
uh, for just aiming down sights. I think, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I use injection mold. I never actually do use this in PvP. The hereafter perk, Blinding Light, precision kills with this weapon cause a bright flash that can blind enemies nearby. You know it deals da- or you know it blinds them because it deals one damage to them. That's how much damage it, that it deals to in PvP. I think that's what it does in PvE as well. And basically, you see damage pop up, and they will be blinded for the full duration. It's not it's not a proximity based thing like it, it like uh, flashbang grenades are. If they get caught in it, they're going to be blind. Very rare to see that get used in PvP, but it is hilarious because p- most people have no idea what just happened. So shoot someone in the head, people around them will be blinded. It's kind of like the Firefly, the old old Firefly perk where you would shoot them, and there's a big delay on it. So it's a little bit difficult to get used to, but it's one of my favorite PvP weapons right now, whenever you can you know, get used to the ammo economy. Monte Carlo with the Super Spy Ornament and Truth with the Prototype Ornament. Those are your weapon bundles. We have a green emerald coil drive, a purple void drive, three heavy ammo synths, ten heavy ammo synths, three of, five three of coins, and then three glass needles. Motes of light and exotic shards if you need them, Zer. I will see you later, man, and I will see all of you later as well. Thanks for tuning in.